Good one. Well, I must agree. That's what they <laughs> yes, tell me. Yes, yes. Now, I want to talk to you about this whole sort of thing with oh. Novak Djokovic. I mean, you're, you're sort of shaking your head. What, what, do you, what do you make of all of this? Well, as for his mum complaining about the hotel, he should have tried to get into Britain, shouldn't he? On Dover, at the beaches, he'd have been put up in a four or five star well, hotel. Well, they'd have picked him up, wouldn't they? Yeah, they'd have <laughs> picked him up and he'd been sorted. <laughs> um, I think he's a moaning, spoiled brat. I think he's a brilliant sports person. Uh, you can't knock his record. But, look, the rules, as you said, should be the same for everyone. And I'm fed up of the elite, the establishment elite, you know, just running roughshod over the rules, whether it's people coming to cop, whatever it was called, cop out. And also, you know, people, you know, top influences going to Dubai and places. It can't be right. It's got to be, it's got to be one rule for all. Um, and so I'm glad they're making an example of him. I love Australia. Do you, do you think they're making an example of him? I mean, as you said, it's, he's, they're just treating him like everybody else. Yeah, and they're basically saying to him, look, he's not being held. All these people saying, oh, he's being held as a prisoner in a small room. No, he's not. He can go, like that lady just said, whenever he wants. And I'll tell you just one little thing I want to say about this. I've been very surprised. Well, not surprised. It's kind of predictable. I'm a Brexiteer. I wanted Brexit. But I've been surprised how many leaders of the Brexit situation are saying, oh, it's disgusting what Australia are doing. Well, just run this one past... Nigel's done it, Nigel Farage. Just run it past me again, Nigel. Australia are protecting their borders. Isn't that what you're <laughs> calling for at Dover? I think it's well, a see, fair I point. Didn't...